Okay, hear me out here. Think Paris, 1904. Picasso and Einstein walk into a bar. Well, that's the basis for comedian and film star Steve Martin's hilarious play fantastically imagines what these two great men may have discussed if the two had met and who may join them at Le Pen Agile Bar. Ah, I'm working <laughs> on my French, not very good. But you know who's good at their French accents? Sydney Reddish and Ned Avril Snell from Job Site <laughs> Theater. Welcome back. I'll say, Ned, we Hi, haven't Natalie. seen each other since COVID, we were saying, yes, right? Yes, it's wonderful to see you, though. Uh, I, well, I appreciate you guys coming back. It is so good to see you. And it's so good that uh, you're making me try my French accent for it. Because <laughs> I got to be honest with you, this play sounds hilarious. Give people an idea. You were seeing Steve Martin work. Working on this back since the 80s? Now? Yeah, he started working on it in the late 80s during that period where he was kind of transitioning out of his stand up and wild and crazy guy yeah. into these sort of more thoughtful intellectual things he was doing things like the movie Roxanne and the movie LA story at the beginning of that he was working on this play and he developed it into the early and mid 90s and then it premiered various places all over the country eventually played very successfully off Broadway it's a very funny play it's a very very funny play it has that if you are familiar with murders in the building at all yes. it has that particular Steve Martin recipe of a lot of intellectuality, a lot of profundity, a lot of history, and then just complete silliness, <laughs> complete silliness. And so it's hard sometimes to talk about this play because it sounds so serious and profound. It's Einstein and, and yes. Picasso. It's silly. Yeah. It's silly and funny. There's six laughs on a page. And so you, you get a lot to think about, but you don't often get a lot of time to think about it because there's another laugh and there's another laugh and there's another laugh. I love that. And I told you I Murders in the Building, I've actually watched that. I'm a big fan. And so when I hear Steve Martin, I feel like people at home are with me. That catches your attention. And then you actually throw in, you know, the history elements and these two great characters and then the French accent that I apparently am <laughs> terrible at that we all knew. Sydney, you are much better at it than I, but give people an idea of what the, what the show is like for you. Um, it's so much fun. It's some of the most fun I've ever had on stage Aww. and all the people in it and all the different characters are also zany and written to be so like eccentric and to have all of those characters existing in the same room and in the same world, the interactions that they have on stage and that we get to have fun with. I mean, it's so exciting, I think for us, but also for the audience to to be there to witness that and to feel that energy in the room. And you were saying too that you get to you play actually multiple characters mm -hmm. and then you throw the French accent in, which sometimes you say you do have to break a little bit so it keeps the audience up to speed, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, because the French is the, one of the most difficult accents I feel like I've ever had to tackle. Is and it? Like, yeah. It, the R's like sit in the back of your throat and um, the sounds are just so foreign to my ears, you know, that to, to put them in practice is really difficult. And then when you factor in, you know, how that's going to hit the audience ears, you sometimes have to give and take the accuracy of the accent in order for it to be intelligible. Well, and, and let's get, you know, I, I think too, you hear how funny it is, but I mean, mm -hmm. really putting Picasso and Einstein in, I feel like there's a lot of questions that you wonder what a conversation would have. So, Ned, what did yeah. you kind of take away from this piece, maybe? Did you find yourself thinking like, yeah, maybe it really would be like this if these two actually met and, and had a laugh together? I don't think it would be like this at <laughs> all. all. Okay. Because it's very silly and it's very funny. And, of course, what you have to remember is both Einstein and Picasso are very young at this point. They're young, young men, like okay. the wonderful actors we have playing them. Uh, and so they they're, they're not fully formed yet. Uh, Einstein in particular is kind of awkward and insecure yeah. and a little gawky. He hasn't become the famous scientist Einstein, yet. He's yeah. still working in the patent office. Okay. Um, and Picasso, of course, because he's Picasso, is terribly arrogant and lecherous and all the things we know about Picasso, which he was from, from birth. And so when those two... Uh, uh, qualities meet. There's a lot of fun things that happen. And then uh, it, just a wonderful cast to perform it. Yeah. All of the actors in this are just absolutely dead on right. Uh, and, and a lot of fun to watch. Well, I got to tell you, this has been a lot of fun to talk about. I mean, you had me from the headline when we heard Steve Martin and then this concept and every review I've heard talking about how funny it is, how great of a show. We want to make sure, share the performance and information to you. Of course, we are talking about Job Site Theater mm -hmm. as well. I don't know if I threw that out there yet. So you can go to Job Site Theater.
www.ghostofmarysburg.org so that you can get your tickets. And again, it sounds like so much fun. So thank you for coming in and talking about thank this. Thank you for having me. We you. appreciate Wonderful it. Wonderful to see you, Natalie. Same.